can have your way. Oh, let your glory fill this place. Glory, yes, Lord. Let your glory fill this place. Come into your awesome prayers. Let your glory fill this place. Glory, yes, Lord. Let us fill your holy temple with praise. Let your glory fill this place. Glory, yes, Lord. us, for we know that what we do, Father forgive us, for we know not what we do, Father forgive us, for we know not what we do, but we need your glory, oh we need your glory Lord. Please, we need your glory. So send it down on us. We need your glory. Let your glory rest on us. We need your glory. So let it rain on us. But we need your glory. Let your Touch every soul under my voice today. Let your glory fill this place. Every troubled heart, every troubled mind, we need you today. Let your glory fill this place. We welcome your that every person under the sound of my voice hears your voice. Have your way, Jesus. Come to the altar. Healing is here. Come to the altar. Save from fear. Come to the altar. 
This song's for you. This ain't a place for the perfect. It's a place for the broken. So come and it'll give you rest. In his arms, no heart is broken. You don't have to come perfect. Leave your messed up yesterdays to the one and true living God. And at the altar, Give him praise Come to so the altar Healing is here Come to the altar Save from fear Come to the altar Deliverance is here Oh, come From his righteous side Trust in him with your imperfect ways Only Jesus, he can make it right Now you don't have to be perfect Leave your messed up yesterdays To the one and true living God And at the altar, give him praise So love Here, oh, come, come, won't you come? Come to the altar, deliverance is here. Oh, come, won't you come? Not to the mother. All right, what's up, family? What's up, family? It's me, Jerry Woods Live Worldwide, aka the Batman Chum City, baby. Right here, right here on Positive Power Double XI. Welcome to Monday Night Triple Podcast. That's right, you heard Ree earlier. They had a little bit of Lakeisha Mosley with Kent Osborne. That's right, y'all. We apologize for earlier. Batman forgot that he had to. He had his radio station running remotely from somewhere else. I couldn't dial in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technology, baby. Gotta love it. All right, y'all. Don't forget, you can check us out. Music Vision Television. That's right running on YouTube. Just look for Jerry Woods Live. All right. Check out all our original content right here on Positive Power Double XI. That's right. Got some red carpet, some live concerts, some music videos from some of your independent gospel artists. That's right. And speaking of independent gospel artists, right here tonight is Clarita Hatton Jackson is going to be joining us with Paula G, the voice for my journey on www.watc.tv. You catch my Paula, my Paula G. That's right. My journey with Paula G. Right in Atlanta, 57.1 and 57.2. Hold on all the channels. Speaking of Paula G, what's up, Paula G? What's going on? Why you keep inboxing me? Hey, I'm... Why you bothering me? What? Yeah, man, trying to work. You're there inboxing me. Look, I can hear you. <laughs> you can hear Bad me? Man, he, Bad man talking about folk. Forget that we can hear him. <laughs> I hear you talking about me. That's my ears are burning. Your ears are burning. <laughs> Did I leave the mic open? <laughs> That's what I was talking about. You? Yeah, I left Don't them. you always... I always leave the mic open sometime. <laughs> My wife is calling me. She must have been listening. That's right. She gonna get, I'm going to tell her. <laughs> I'm in trouble. 
Yes, you are. How you doing? <laughs> What's going on? I am I am well. I think I'm recovered from last from the dynamic, fabulous, amazing, anointed. I'm trying to think of all the adjectives. Blessed, fun, exciting weekend last weekend uh, for the live taping of my journey with Paula G right here in the ATL and y'all Batman rolled up here in a red 150 F-150 right. I don't F-1 even know what all the F-1 alphabet 50. letters want yeah, the F-150 F- yeah, F- cruising That's he, right. had that, he had that lean <laughs> yeah, back in the day That's right. The, <laughs> y'all know the, what I'm talking about back in the day that gangster lean the gangster charm <laughs> yeah, that city lean. lean that's right that's right. Oh, it was good. Yeah, it was, it was um Yeah. We had a we had a really good time in Atlanta hanging out with you with you gals. Yeah. We did. It was you know, it was just you know, when you say God shows up and shows out, he truly showed up and showed out, you know, right here in Atlanta. We you know, we got we have to give a shout out to Michael Mario Good of the Good Acting Studio for um, hosting the show, you know the live the live taping uh, performances of the show. He was just so he just jumped right in there and was just so gracious and helpful. So, you know, I, I'm just I'm just forever in his debt. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was awesome. He did a great we job. We are forever in his debt. Yeah, everybody did yeah. a great job. The kids were awesome. Uh, our tech support, oh Samuel Jackson, Noah yeah. Williams. It's a, it was a wonderful, wonderful cast of people. It was, was in my team, my dynamic team with B Speak Life and Monique Washington, Shay Samuels, Dr. Kelly, Lakeisha, uh, First Lady, just the dynamic team to help, you know, put all of that together. Because, you know, we, we, we cannot do anything in a vacuum. You know, a lot of times we act like we can do things all by ourselves, but we, we can't do things in a vacuum. We, you know, we, we've got a team, Shalanda. You know, we've got a team. Um, so it, it was it was awesome. And Batman was in the ATL. That's we had right. Batman eating crabs. That's right. Well, you know, we do Atlanta we do crabs. Stuff. Yeah, we do crabs. I just, <laughs> we just don't wear gloves when we eat crabs. That was new to me. Well, you don't have to be real. But see, okay. So here's because you know my my family's from the from the Delaware area. My mother's side's from the Delaware yeah, so area. You know so, about you know, you know about I Chesapeake. Grew up on crabs That's right, blue crabs. And we didn't. We did, yeah. We didn't do glove. We didn't even do bids, really. We just did we didn't newspaper either. on the picnic yep. table. Yeah, <laughs> you dump the bushel out on the on the on the picnic table, and 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 go for it. You know, <laughs> and you you see, my family in my family when you were when you were little, you know, your the aunties and the uncles, you know, they picked the crabs for you. But once you turn the age of five, you was on your own. You had to pick your own crabs. <laughs> you I love pick it. your own. You pick your own crabs. You didn't eat. <laughs> That's right. I know. You know, my dad used to give um, my brother and I um, the legs, <laughs> and that's where all the the hot sauce was. You know, that's where it was really hot and, <laughs> and spicy. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> had but, all that spice on it. That's how he started us <laughs> off, though. It took forever <laughs> to get that little bit of meat out them little skinny legs. He didn't give us the claws. He gave us the legs, Paula. He get the legs. Yeah. Yeah. But see, there's, there's an art to getting the meat out of the legs. There's an art to it. Yeah, it is. And then, you know, you got to crack them in half and get the shell off and break the legs off. There's art. You got to crack them in just the right place. Yeah, man. I know it now. Legs. Pull it right on out. I'm an expert now. I, I, I could do my thing. You, and speaking of you crabs, you know, uh, the season is right around the corner. I know in Atlanta they didn't have blue crabs available, but they, they're actually mm-hmm. available here in the Maryland area. Yeah. And um, mm-hmm. to Memorial Day, man, we're heading down to uh, Chestertown. Chestertown is having uh, what oh, they call the Chestertown that. Tea Party. It's going to be 10,000 mm-hmm. people expected. So you're talking about grass-fed beef is going to be there. <laughs> I'm talking about real ribs and, mm-hmm. and pork, mm-hmm. and I mean they're going to tear it up. The seafood is going to be off the chain. We can't wait. Um, actually, we're supposed to be. Bring, I think Lakeisha's going with us. We're supposed to film oh, a stage right. play on uh, the black uh, soldiers during the Civil War. Era. It's supposed to be a reenactment mm-hmm. of some sort. Yeah, um, well, at the theater. Yeah, so we're looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, I bet that's you yeah. got a lot going on, Batman, with with the shows on positive power and, and 
TV show, and, you know, we were on WATC 57.1. Good Friday. Yeah, and I yeah. I got Jaime doing you a shout-out over on at WATC. That was huge. That yeah. was huge to turn on TV on Friday. It was hot. That was hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, they have three state, three channels, 57.1, 57.2, and 57.3. Mm-hmm. They you know, the show was on 57.2, um, and, uh, you know, 57.1 is the same one where you uh, see me on Atlanta Live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was, that was huge. That was huge. It so, was. yes, and, and also uh, Tony D stopped by. I was, I was so humble. Yeah. Yeah, Tony, yeah, Tony hit me up today. He, I thought he, he thought he was coming on today. <laughs> I said, no, not today, buddy. <laughs> we got oh, Claire, we got Claire Rita Hat and Jackson tonight. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's been a minute since I've spoken to her. Yeah, I had her on a couple of years a ago minute. too. Yeah, she came yeah, on um, late night. Mm-hmm. I think we had like what, three years ago we had Claire Rita on here? Mm, I think it's been more recently. I think it's been more recently. Yeah. yeah I think it's been more uh I think it's been more recently. Yes. Oh, you know what? Before we go any further, we've got to give Shay Samuels a shout out and congratulations. Yes. Yeah, grandmother. Like yes. Yeah, so far, she's not with y'all tonight. I'm filling in for her That's right. tonight. You got her. The new grandma. That's right. You got her. The new <laughs> grandma. She hasn't any sleep since Friday. <laughs> so the baby was coming home today. Is that right? I believe so. Yes, yes. Baby was born Friday on Good Friday. Mm, that's awesome. She was born on Good Friday, what, about twelve forty-four, maybe. Yeah, mm. Good Friday. She was born. That's Baby all right. Born, born on Good Friday. Yeah, mm-hmm. boy. Diaper changing hey, time. Diaper yes. changing time. Man. Mm. Life changing. So oh, no. tonight is her first night home with a new grandbaby. So we congratulate her, and we just wish her blessings and you know a new life in the family is always a beautiful beautiful thing that's right you yeah. know becoming a yeah becoming a grandparent that's a beautiful thing as well so that's right. we want to give her the opportunity to savor that moment and she'll be back with y'all next week i know y'all miss her i know y'all <laughs> miss her <That's laughs> the right. voice of an angel that's right she will be Shay back Shay. family she'll be back give her a little time yeah. off we actually gave everybody yeah. off mm-hmm. on the christian party line uh the month of a everybody will be back in uh may uh you're talking about patrice mm-hmm. and um and um, yeah. chanel and shalanda mm-hmm. and lakeisha because mm-hmm. lakeisha's still working yeah. though she still got her monday night show she's still working dr yeah. paul kelly is off with next man up you can catch him tomorrow night starting at nine okay. we also got dr, dr. terrell dr. dr chanel coming mm-hmm. on tomorrow night and patrice and catrice oh. comes on on uh thursdays right with, along with uh, miguel Prophet. shout yeah. out yeah the sunday tea party they come on Mm-hmm. Thursdays and we have any other new faces? Shalonda, you got Shalonda. Yep, show. Shalonda, two hour yeah. broadcast. You catch her too. And yeah. Miguel Profet. An awesome he comes on Thursday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good Men show. Vote. No judgment zone. That's right. You know what's you know what's so mm-hmm. interesting about this show though? You know, you always go along thinking that it's a revolving door when it comes to the penitentiary, like the guys go in and they're not doing anything but just getting yeah. in trouble. And, you know, because we've seen those movies, the right. penitentiary one through seven. And that's what you think life is like there, which, you know, it is somewhat like that. But um, these guys are coming up. Some of these guys are getting married. They're, they're coming out, starting families, starting their own ministries, businesses, because nobody want to give them a job. So they got to start their own business. Now, a lot of you heard yeah. Friday night broadcast with V Speak Life and her brother Pony Boy. And Pony Boy has started a very successful trucking business after, um, um, sure a lot of no's was said to him. A lot of doors were shut. He said he went and um, mm-hmm. I think he said he started working on a uh, a trucking company, loading trucks. And then somebody started yeah. schooling him about getting a CDL. Business. And I think he went to school at night, got his CDL, bought his first truck. Then I think that led to mm-hmm. six trucks. And um, he, he, now he's a consultant. You know, so anybody's trying yeah. to start their business, take it to the next level, contact Valamir Pony Boy. He will hook you up. And I see you know, and I think he he is so inspiring. Um, um, Charles Clark, you know, yeah. so inspiring. Ken Osborne, you know, they come out. David yes, David Benton, and, um, uh, David Benton, yeah, they all, you know, they Stephen Marshall. I don't think Stephen Marshall served time though. I think he just was in a gang. Mm-mm. Yeah, they, they, you know, 
starting your own, taking the initiative mm-hmm. and starting your own business against all the odds. Cause like you said, nobody will give, give them a job. So it's like, well, okay, I'm going to start my own business. And all of them have done so and done so successfully, you know, and done so successfully. And to me, that is, that, that is one of the true measures of a man to be able to, um, you know, take what he has, take the gifts that he has and the talents that he has and and pour them into himself, That's right. you know, invest in himself. That's powerful. That's, That's right. powerful. Praise so my hat's God. off to, to all of them. To that's all right. Of them. And yeah. we support them on Next Man Up. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a few more guys <laughs> that's in the same boat with those guys. And you can catch them all on Next Man Up, Neva Void and Adam. Um, um, dang, Adam was just talking to me today, too. I got to hit him back up. So anyway, we're ready to uh, let our guests uh, um, come on the air and speak to Paula G, the voices. Batman just wants to say hello. Hello, Pastor Jackson. This is Batman. What's going on? How you doing? Hello, hello. I am blessed, highly favored, and excited about what God is doing in the lives of his people. Amen. 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 Well, look, <laughs> I'm just going to say hello because, you know, I spoke to you the other day with, with Carlton, and um, God bless him. Yes, yes. And I hope you got everything straight. I hope my instructions was clear. You good to go? Well, I got <laughs> You're working I on it. So. <laughs> All right. We'll talk about that another day. <laughs> All right. Well, look, I just want to say hello. So Batman is on mute and make sure everything is going smoothly. So have a great show, you and Paula G. Have a great show. Yes. Thank you. Well, I am so incredibly excited to be speaking with my sister, Clarita Haddon Jackson, who is on a journey, a powerful, powerful journey, an inspiring journey, a motivating journey, an encouraging journey, and a journey that God has that God has her on to fulfill what it is that He has placed in her to fulfill um, for for His purpose. So, my sister, I'm so incredibly glad that you are with us. How might I be tonight? <laughs> uh, a little worn out, but I'm not too tired to keep it moving. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's been a long and I, I'd like to say prosperous and um, productive day to speak well yes. this day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we, we like we like prosperous. Keyword prosperous. <laughs> But the productive part is the hard part because that means there's a whole lot of work involved. <laughs> right, to get to prosperous. <laughs> hey, yeah. But, but isn't it funny how you, you, you know, you can work hard and you, you, on one hand, you're exhausted, but then on the other hand, you're rejuvenated because you're doing what it is that you're passionate about, what you enjoy, what God has placed inside of you to do. And that, that's a, that's a, um, it's a beautiful place to be. It's hard Absolutely. to explain. <laughs> yes, it's, it's it's a combination of the feeling of accomplishment and productivity, yes. and you know, with, but with any work, with any yes. type of, of production, it's going to take energy, and so sometimes you have to push until you have no more left, and then go ahead and take a break. Uh, so I understand the 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 power of listening to your body as well, and so when Ooh, I start yeah. feeling the shutdown button. Mm-hmm. Shut it down. Because <laughs> your, your body will, if you don't listen, eventually your body will do something yes. Yes. that will force you to sit down someplace. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That will force you to sit down someplace. And one place that I think is a fabulous place to sit down in, on is a cruise, which I understand, my sister. You are yes. uh, in the process of sitting down on a cruise with a whole bunch of other folk. Tell us about that. Oh, yes. That is Cruising Conversations 2020. And that is a cruise. And I'm going to tell you because I know we're going to be sitting down, but we're going to be doing some other mm-hmm. stuff, too. Because, again, without productivity, <laughs> everything can't happen. So, uh, you know, it's, it's designed to be able to get creatives on all levels, not just mm-hmm. Uh, work, but it's going to give us vacation, it's going to give us education, it's going to give us manifestation, and I like to put it like this, you're going to get rest, you're going to become sharpened, and you're going to be activated. But So you're mm. going to get all that stuff in a short little three-day cruise to the Bahamas, but we're going to have, we're going to power pack that cruise with, with fun, relaxation, and education, because God has given us a mandate 
to do this work, and I'm excited. I mean, it's it's like I said, I'm working, but I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, and I think that's the key is, is you know, we you we we work at what we do, but at the same time, you know, they always say life is short. You know, life is so short. You have to enjoy. You have got to find time, um, you know, to enjoy yourself somewhere. You know, somewhere along that line, somewhere along that. So, so where did the idea of the cruise come from? You know, I never thought of a cruise. Um, mm-hmm. I got a phone call one day, and the gentleman said, you know, you, you blessed my artist uh, with an mm-hmm. interview, and you did, uh, you know, all this promotions for their record. I just feel like I need to bless you with an opportunity. And mm-hmm. I'm like, what is this going to be? <laughs> and he goes, right. have you ever done your own cruise? I'm like, man, no, that's going to take too much money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And he goes, no, 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 listen to me. And he ran it down to me. He's like, mm-hmm. let me do this for you, and I'm going to set you up. And don't worry, I'm going to make sure it's affordable for your people. It won't be overwhelming to your people because we know that your mission is always about helping independents or uh, thriving or aspiring entrepreneurs mm-hmm. and artists. So we're going to help you figure it out. And uh, yeah. he did exactly what he said. And I, I was a little afraid. I'm gonna be honest. I was a little bit afraid to jump out of the boat. Mm, come on now. I felt like I had never done an event on this level, um, mm. and especially when you're branching and launching something new. You know, even though yeah. I've had the Tune Doctor Academy over a year online, mm-hmm. I've never mm-hmm. done a physical event. So it's like, do I jump out of this boat? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so wait and a minute. Really- wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So this has been what, a year or two. Is that what you just said? And I then had you an online academy for a year. A year, one year, one year. Let's yes. just pause and marinate on that yes. for a hot second. <laughs> yes. One year. And then the first event this sister does is not just a conference where she rents out a facility and she invites people. No, she's going to take a whole <laughs> Do y'all hear this? She is going to take a whole cruise ship. <laughs> and and we're jumping out of the boat. <laughs> she, she just jumped overboard. She just, <laughs> that is a true, no pun intended, that is a true leap of faith. Absolutely. That is a leap of faith. Because you just, like you said, on the, on the threshold of this first year. Oh, my gosh, yes. that's amazing. Yes. Yes, and so I called him, and I said, you know what? It, when he asked me, I took like three days to decide if I was going to do it. I said, I got to go pray. <laughs> that this is God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, and, and he, said, he said, just take your time. Trust mm-hmm. me, you know, I, I, won't, I won't lead you wrong. It's not going to overwhelm you. Just trust me. And I'm like, okay. And then when I said yes, it was like everybody that, that was, on board, and, you know how mm-hmm. it works. You know everybody's like, yeah. "Oh no, we can't, we can't." Oh that, oh that's too big. Oh no, we can't help you with this. Mm-hmm. So it ended up being me, and I got to get a whole new team, and I got to do this. Right. I got to grab new people, you know. <laughs> but it's okay because you know what? I will be honest. God, it, it was about two or three days ago. I was mm-hmm. I was feeling a little overwhelmed, not because mm-hmm. you know I don't think I can do it. Yeah, but it was simply because. You know how you start seeing how people are, you know, you're saying the cruise is in January, and you ha- but I have a deadline that people have to yeah. book by a certain date, you know. Yeah. And so we have the 29th coming up, and I was like sweating, like, oh, my gosh, people are not mm-hmm. booking fast enough. And, oh, Come God, on, man. Am I going to make it? What are we going to do? What are we uh-huh. going to do? And he said, don't worry. I got yeah. you covered. I'm going to okay. blow your mind. Mm. And I said, what? And so I said, Lord, is that you? Because, you know, my man can be talking. <laughs> like, Peter, said, Lord, is that you? <laughs> I said, yes, Lord. And I promise you, I told, I called the agent today and I said, you know, I don't know where I am. He said, oh, girl, you you over halfway to your goal and you still got another week. You're okay. And I couldn't uh-huh. believe it. And, uh, and, and he said, uh, don't worry about it. He said, people are going to wear you out the last three, four days. <laughs> uh-huh, that's true. <laughs> I said, you know what? God is so good. And the crazy thing is, I called him and say, um, I was still a little worried, but mm-hmm. I remember that the Lord said, don't worry, because my, my one of my major uh, uh, help, my, one of my big speakers, 
that said, you know what, today, this is not for me. And mm-hmm. some of my financial help said, this is not an opportunity for us. And mm-hmm. the Lord immediately reminded me, I told you I got your back. As mm-hmm. soon as I received that message, my phone lit up every hour on the hour for mm-hmm. at least six hours when people calling about booking. So I knew. Yes. It was a reminder. I told you I got you covered. And mm-hmm. I told you I'm mm-hmm. going to blow your mind. You just it, it. When you do things like this, where you have a gift and a calling to inspire and activate others, you're going to be tested to be sure yeah. that this is what God has called you to. So, cool in Conversation mm-hmm. 2020, it's going to be a breeze, no matter if it looks like one uh, right now or not. <laughs> it's going to be a breeze because he has placed it in your path. Path. now have yeah. you ever been on a cruise yourself? I sang on uh, the One Love Gospel Cruise. I've been okay. on plenty okay. of uh, day cruises, okay. you know. Yeah. But I, I haven't done my own, you know. So right. I, I enjoy cruising. Um, it's been a while, so I'm excited about just being able to, even though, even though, even if it's just a few hours of just enjoying myself, closing my eyes and thanking God mm-hmm. for being on the water, you know. But when we get to the Bahamas, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna have fun because I'm gonna get out that off that ship and we're gonna mm-hmm. enjoy ourselves. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> yes. It's, and, yes it's, you know, it is it's such cruising is is such you know a, a beautiful thing. And you all, this is a three day cruise, yes. and for people who have never been on a on a cruise, what can you share with them to encourage them to to experience this? Well, I'm going to tell you, most most people who go on a cruise where they're afraid to go on a cruise, one, they feel like it's too long on the water. So yeah. it's, perfect, it's a perfect time. It's the perfect amount of time for your first cruise. Three days mm-hmm. is kind of like at the threshold where you start feeling like you want to get off the boat. Right. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You're right about so, that. Yeah. You are so yeah, right. you're like, I've been in this water a little bit too long. I'm starting to mm-hmm. feel the boat move now, so I need to right. get off. <laughs> so it's the perfect timing because you're going to be done okay. before you really get tired of being on the water. And right. then also, I'm going to tell you this. The food. The mm. food is nonstop food. <laughs> Come on. It's all inclusive in your package, so it's not like they're going to shut you down and have you be hungry in the middle of the night. You can get food. Right. food. <laughs> Most people gain five or ten pounds on a cruise. <laughs> on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to eat until your heart is content. <laughs> And that is so true because, you know, when when it's all inclusive, you know, you get that C card if you want to, you know, get uh, souvenirs, you know, or what have you. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. but everything, you don't have to spend any money. So once you pay right. for the cruise, you don't have to, everything is available to you on, on, the, on the cruise ship. You don't have to really uh, spend any money above and beyond. You can just relax, enjoy, be fed in so many different ways, you know. Yes. Spiritual, you're gonna get the spiritual food. You're gonna get some real yeah. food, physical <laughs> food, and then you're gonna get a whole lot of dessert. My husband says that's cookie counter. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and this is true. All kinds of desserts. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. That is an and plus it's in January, so you know yes. that's, a, that's you know that's a perfect time to to go. Can you tell us a bit about uh, some of the speakers and the coaches that will be joining you? Absolutely. Now, I haven't started releasing the full list, but today okay. I did release that um, we have Dr. Teresa Harrison, who mm-hmm. is an amazing woman of God. Uh, she's a, I'd say, media mogul and mm-hmm. uh, publishing, writing coach. She's written multiple books herself, and um, she's been in the music industry a long time. And so mm-hmm. she has so much wisdom, knowledge that she can share. So I call it Destiny Wisdom. She's going to be there on the ship. She's going to be releasing Destiny Wisdom to, of course, her her ministry of speech. She'll give her, um, I'm going to say, her message. And mm-hmm. then once she gives her message, this is what I love about the cruise and the way God gave it to me. He said, don't let it be a, a, a conference of lectures. Ooh. Don't let it be a conference of lectures. He said, let it be a a conference of conversations. So that's why I call it Cruising Conversations, because we're only going to get a short lecture from each each speaker. Mm -hmm. But then we're going to pause 
after they tell you who they are and what they offer, and they're going to come down off that platform, and you're mm-hmm. going to be able to sit with them and show them your vision, talk about what it is, how they can, how you see that they can assist you in getting to where you're going. They're yeah. going to be able to spend time and, 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 and impart into you, show you methods, ideas, give you the plan on how to produce what God has put in your heart. Wow. And so that's the ministry. That's why I call it the ministry of the Tomb Doctor Academy. Yes, it's a school. Yes, I do training. But at the end of the day, it's a ministry because my mandate is to activate and empower people to take their dream off of the paper and begin to live it in a reality. So I don't want to, I don't want you to come there and be inspired and just hope that you're going to do it. And then the price tag of what we're offering is so big that you got to wait a year or two and come back again and, and, Mm -hmm. and take advantage of what we're offering. I want you to be able to take advantage of what we're offering right there. Right. Right. (laughs) So that's what I put in my heart. You know. Yes, yes, and you know, it, it, it's so many people that, and I think that is such a just a, a a powerful way and just a beautiful way to, you know, in, not only encourage and inspire but transform people because so many people, you know, they have these visions and these dreams and they're swirling around in their head and yes. they don't. It doesn't always come to fruition. So to really make, first of all, the take to to commit to going on a cruise is the first step in moving in that direction. And Mm -hmm. and I dare say that each and every person, when you get on that ship, three days later, when you get off of that ship, you will be a different person moving in a different, you know, headed back home, moving in a different direction and having the tangible tools that you need to, you know, move you in that direction that, that, that you're wanting to go in, that God is calling you to um, go in. So I, I just think it's an off, awesome, awesome way and an exciting way. Um, and that's a, ni- that's a nice Christmas present for somebody, you know. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nice, I'm just saying, nice Christmas <laughs> present. <laughs> yes. A very, very nice Christmas present. Can you tell us a bit about um, the Academy? Because I'm just fascinated that it's only been in existence for about a year or so, and we're on a cruise already. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So the Tune Doctor Academy um, uh-huh. is basically a online academy for creatives that does the same thing that the that the cruise is going to do, but it takes you over a course of time. Uh-huh. I have multiple master classes and courses available right there by video on the Mm -hmm. website so you can join the site and you can take advantage of the different courses I have. Most of them are only $20 per course. You know, I don't like, again, I feel that God Mm. has not given me this to tax people. Right. He's given me this to assist people. And and, and everybody on my team, when they come around me, they go, Clarita, you are your value. I mean, if, if you, if you go out and look at the different coaches that are doing, you're doing, you know, the minimum somebody can get a course like this is $500. Why aren't you Mm -hmm. charging $500 for your courses? Why aren't you charging Mm -hmm. $600? Why aren't you charging $15,000, $2,000 for a master class? And I go, because I want them to be able to get access. It's not about building my revenue. Yes, God's going to bless me. He's going to send somebody. This is what I believe. The more you sow, the more you mm-hmm. get. Come on, Clarice. So God is going to give me access to what I need because I'm giving yeah. somebody else access to what they need. See, I live in a, in, a, in a situation in my whole, the beginning of my career, in the, the early part of my career, and even up until a couple of years ago, nobody mm-hmm. would give me access. Nobody. Oh, you're too edgy. Your hair is too blue. I was signed to two record deals. I had to buy myself out of one and walk away from the other. Mm. <laughs> because wow. said, you're too this and you're too that and you're too this. And, and people don't know how to deal with your blue hair. And the churches don't want to hear you because you got blue lipstick and da 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 So mm-hmm. we're a label. We can't do this. And I say, you know what? I said, no problem. God is going to direct me. He's mm-hmm. going to give me what to do. And God gave me a platform, one with radio, which I never expected. So now I'm able to give people access that was denied to me, one, because I either didn't have the budget 
or people mm-hmm. didn't believe in my vision or my sound. So now it's mm-hmm. my passion to believe in people's sound, to see and understand their dream and their vision, and turn around and give them access. So now Blue Flame Moments started out, you know, on on Facebook Live for three minutes, and mm-hmm. now it's nine BDS stations and almost 150 stations total in less than one year because I said, God, I want to give people access. See? Wow. <laughs> and, it, and, you know, it, it, it's, it's, oh, gosh, it is just so amazing how God uses people because I think it's, it's, it's relevant and important for people to know what you have overcome just to, 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 to be where you are today, yes, yourself. Ma'am. Some diagno- the diagnosis that that you defied, Absolutely. the things that you overcame yourself to be in the position that you are in today, and I think you know those testimonies are so powerful. They're so encouraging because you know there's so many people that say, "Oh, I can't do," you know, "I can't fulfill my dreams because of." you know, this challenge or that challenge or this obstacle or that obstacle, yet, you know, it's all a mindset. You know, it's yeah. all a mindset. It's that conversation in between your ears and what, what, that, what you speak into yourself. And I Absolutely. think you are a living testimony of when you speak positive into yourself, you speak the word of God into yourself, um, amazing things happen and you wind up on Absolutely. a cruise. <laughs> One of my favorite courses I give away on my site, again, Mm -hmm. I give away on my site. It's a Mm -hmm. free course. You get instant access. All you have to do is put your email in there. There you go. And you get access to this course instantly. It's called Mm -hmm. Speak to Your World. Mm -hmm. And it's simply teaching you how to get up and declare what you want to see and Mm -hmm. then working to activate it. And And it's so easy. It's so easy. It's like it makes you feel like I didn't. I, why wasn't I doing that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow! Yeah. And and that course has been available for a year. And I promise you, every now and then I, I repost it and say, "Hey, here's a free course." And people go, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, that is that simple. Okay, y'all. So so what so what do they need to email? Tell them again. What do they need to do? All they have to do is is. Subscribe by putting your email in to receive instant okay. access to speak to your world. So you go to the Tune Doctor Academy dot com and mm-hmm. you just subscribe. And every course that's available free, you will get instant All access. Right. And as I continue to produce content and add more courses, which I've been recording new courses, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, should I put them up yet, or should I just focus on the cruise? Maybe I should just focus on the cruise. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that might be a good idea. <laughs> But I mean, have focus on the cruise and introduce them. Yeah, focus yes. on the cruise and introduce them on a cruise, maybe. Yes, I'm also releasing my first book on the cruise. I'm just doing all kinds of stuff. Oh, so, you're just doing you know. all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You're just out the box, out the box. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the Bahamas is a beautiful place to go. It is. The it's a beautiful place to go, and you might you might meet a, a, a sister friend there. Her name is Aunt Frances, and I I dare say Aunt Frances is age, but let's just say she's she's on the baby boomer side, a little bit of, on the baby uh-huh. boomer side, but she is sharp as a tack, and she is known for her, you know what, blue hair. <laughs> wow. So Aunt Frances, if you are listening, when Clarita comes, just. Give her some love. Give her some love. <laughs> Please do. Please Give do. Love. Give her some love. But that is just, I am just so, you know, as I'm listening to you and just your energy and the joy and your, and your, and your voice and the passion for what it is that you um, are passionate about and what it is that you are, are doing and how excited you are. And also knowing, you know, knowing how you have just, beat the odds and, and overcome challenges to get to this point is truly a testimony to just the power of God moving in your life and, and, you know, allowing yourself to be used by him to help and bless others. And like you said, when you, you know, we reap what you, what we sow and you are sowing so much, you are yes, sowing so so much, and it, it, it really, truly, truly um, is going to, you know, be a blessing for you, um, you know, as well. As well, tell us a little bit about your radio show, my sister in radio. 
Yes. yes. Oh, man. Blue Flame Moments Radio Show. <laughs> it is such a blessing. Um, mm. I, I did not expect God to do what he did with it. Like I said, I started out just doing three minutes of inspiration on Facebook, and um, my PR manager, Mr. Carlton McConnell, the mm-hmm. bomb dot com, who will also be on the cruise to be able to help people. Um, <laughs> he said, Clarita, you don't realize what you're doing. He said, you need to turn this into a radio show. What yeah. you're putting out and what you're making mm-hmm. available, what you're saying, people need to hear it around the world. Facebook is good, but you need mm-hmm. to take it to the next level. And yeah. so I started doing these three-minute segments on the Jay Williams show, mm-hmm. and um, it was cool, and I was enjoying it. I'm happy. I was content. I'm like, yeah, this is fun. I'm happy. I don't need to do anything else. I'm like, thank you, Brother Carlton. This is wonderful. He's like, you thought we were going to stop this? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, no, you're going to grow. He said, you just get your three minutes together and then start practicing six minutes. And then I'm like, yeah, start practicing ten minutes. And creeping up, creeping up. Yeah, yeah. And then the next minute, he, he, he comes around and says, yeah, so I got you a half-hour show on this station, that station, this station, that station. As a matter of fact, we have this many stations, and they're all excited about your show coming. I'm like, right. what? And, wow. <laughs> and so it's been an amazing blessing to do something that I had no idea. To be honest, I had no dream of being a radio host. I mm-hmm. felt like I didn't even fit the mold because when my parent my parents were always on radio uh, when I was growing up for the ministry, and they mm-hmm. would drag me to the radio station and I'd cry. I don't want to go to the radio. Oh, I hate the radio station, and I'd be crying. Oh. And they said, "Why do you always cry about the radio station?" Because I hate the way my voice sounds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isn't that how it all? I did is? not like my voice on air. It sounded like a mouth. Aww. And so I said, don't make me talk. They will always make me say something. I'm like, please don't make me talk. I don't want to do it. It's not my calling. Right. <laughs> and so they would force me, force me, force me. And I'm, I would still cry. I'd get upset until, until I got, you know, just, just, just last year. And I started it. And all of a sudden it was like, oh, well, wow. I guess I can do it. I guess I can do it. <laughs> And my voice doesn't sound as bad as it did when I was seven. You know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> God is good. It has turned into a full-time thing. And we're getting constant requests to turn the the show in, from radio to television, getting constant requests on um, adding more time. Can you take it to an hour? Can you do our morning drive? Can you do this? I'm like, listen. <laughs> Y'all wear me out. <laughs> you are wear me out completely. <laughs> oh my no, gosh! I'm, I'm still going to cruise to relax. Doctor. I'm still homeschooling my kids. I know I, I'm finishing up my master's in biblical studies, working on my my doctorate in in sacred music. I'm like this is too much. Y'all know I, I'm still trying to produce my shows. I'm oh ministering full time with my husband. It's like mm-hmm. y'all, I can't do this. <laughs> So how, okay, so so you've got all of this going on homeschooling your children, which is which is incredible. I think you know anyone that homeschools, I think it's an an incredible um, responsibility and an incredible journey to you know be able to take that on. You know for for your children. So how do you judge? Like, what's an average day if there is such a thing? You know, the day can be anything, but I always start out with a plan. I always mm-hmm. start out with a plan. I get up, we get up, we pray, we Mm -hmm. sing, we worship, and then we go into, I I write my my task list for the day, then I holler up for the kids, hey, it's time to come down, let's get started with the work. Mm -hmm. Thank God for online uh, technology and internet because I used to have to create my own content and create the classes and things when they were younger, now that they're older, you know, you have the online academies available, so I'm like, come down and get on your laptop. So let's go. <laughs> All right, get started. You yeah, have I'll assignment. do it. And if you need me, call me. <laughs> and I'm on the computer right next to them, and I'm constantly working on either building a script for a radio mm-hmm. show or working on an event that I'm planning or studying or doing a, a, an assignment for one of my classes, you know, or working on uh, my dissertation. or I'm always doing something. And then I have a three-year-old who does not allow me to do any of it without a, of without 
bothering me. So he's always, um, mommy, 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 mommy. you know. Yeah. Uh, totally oblivious to everything else. But right at that yes. moment, mommy. <laughs> yes. So he, he doesn't understand when I say, well, let me finish this paper first. So let me finish this mm-hmm. email first. He goes, but I want it now. And he's crying. I want it he's now. Falling out and, I'm hungry now. You know. <laughs> now. <laughs> Keyword now. <laughs> Man, so it's full. And then, of course, I have my husband. And he's like, honey, are you cooking breakfast yet? What time What time we eat? You know? <laughs> are you peeling potatoes? What's happening? No, I'm writing a paper. <laughs> peeling potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I was on uh, Facebook Live because we do our Marriage Monday class mm-hmm. every Monday, and tonight I had to peel potatoes and talk and peel try to hurry up talk. and get done so I could talk to you. Um, <laughs> like, so, ladies and gentlemen, Clarita <laughs> Haddon is the epitome of the Proverbs 31 woman and then some. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I need a cake. <laughs> yes. Proverbs 31 plus. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I, I should wow. create a cake. 31 cake. Oh, 30, there you go. 31 cake. Wear it on a crew. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're going to take a music break. We have some of your music. Uh, we're going to take a, a short music break, and then we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about the radio show and uh, the cruise and, and, you know, how people can stay connected to you. Can you tell us a little bit about Zion Praise? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you quick. Zion Praise was um, a song that my brother Dietrich and I did together. We sat around the keyboard at his house, and he said, I want you to do a reggae song. He jumped up, danced around the piano. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> and uh, we went to the studio and recorded it. You know, he's dramatic. So, <laughs> yeah. so he and I together is horrible. So <laughs> a, 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 a drama field. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, we had an amazing time in the studio recording it. He was throwing his hat all over the studio, screaming and oh, falling out of chairs while I was singing. So it, it's a great song. And hopefully you oh, feel awesome. that yes. heartfelt praise and energy from family when you listen to it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, before we listen to it here on Positive Power 21, Batman has a question. That's right. Batman got a question. All right, Clifford, you know the other day when uh, Carlton told you that uh, he was one of my favorite artists and I told you how much I love Help Me. I want to see some more of Help Me. Tell us about that. You know, you know what, what led you to do a, a Christian rock? Because I call it Christian rock. What led you to do that? That's all. <laughs> you know, man, that's a good question. I, I've always been on the edge. And I would always write from the time I was eight years old. My first song I wrote was There Are People Dying and Crying Because mm-hmm. of a Broken Heart. So I've never written normal songs. Uh, but when I, when I wrote Help Me, I was actually up going through a moment of frustration and anger doing, uh, during my career and pastoring at the same time. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Lord, when I told you yes, everything went left. I mm-hmm. need you to help me hold on to my mm-hmm. yes. And I was so full of energy and frustration at the moment, it came out like, ah! And it, <laughs> as if my husband got home, wow. and I was like, that's a song, and it needs to feel like wow. rock and roll, because you're angry. <laughs> 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 and it became a song. We came home, recorded that Sunday night after I preached, and uh, it was it, it just turned out to be a great song. You know, you know, you know, Paula, you got songs that you that you love so much. Sometimes you just want to get in front of the mirror and pretend you're that artist and you just want to go mm-hmm. off. You know, that that is that song for me. You see, I'm clever. Don't, 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 don't laugh if you see me on, on social media doing that song one day. Because <laughs> I just feel like doing Hold it. Oh, uh, no, bye. <laughs> I can't even lip sync. <laughs> can't yeah, sing, lip sync or rap. Oh, my God. You're going to see him singing on social media. Just That'll be, be Batman. Oh, just be jumping around. Okay. I would love to see it. Smashing stuff up. <laughs> That's all I'm be doing. <laughs> it's just one of them songs that just, you know, whatever you're going through, you know, you know mm-hmm. how sometimes a lot of us do bottle up a lot of stuff, whether it's, whether it's, um, creativity that you can't get out the way you want to or you right. know it could be anything and and sometimes i just feel like that when i hear that song because i do i play it a lot <laughs> and you just feel oh, like awesome. doing something you know yeah i love it it's, yes, 
I've been playing it for I'm a so, long time. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I thought Carlton was going to send it to me, but he didn't. <laughs> he didn't send me that one. I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll All find right. it, but in the meantime, we, we, we're going to listen to a little bit of Zion Praise. That's right. Here we go. Zion Praise featuring All Dietrich right. Haddon and Clarita Haddon Jackson. Positive Power 21, right here. Feel the power. I am <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> that was great. Oh wow. That was Thank you. Great. That was great. You know, Positive Power has has oh. been blessed. It's it's like a Haddon family affair. Oh, wow. Over here. <laughs> because you know, my my uh home church here in Marietta, we had the pleasure of having a uh, Hadalog join us for New Year's Eve and um you know, we had was he must be your nephew. Thor Haddon? Must be a nephew. Okay, yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. That's my cousin. Uh, cousin, okay. Daddy. Yes, yes. Yes, that's my cousin. Yeah, they, jo- they joined us for uh, New Year's Eve, and then we had them on as uh, guests on the show, I guess February or something, something like that. So it's just beautiful to see, you know, the legacy running through a family of, of, of just, you know, the gifts and and the talents. It's just a beautiful, beautiful thing to see. Okay. So share, share with the, with the audience, because I, I want to make sure we get this in, share with the audience the information in regard to the cruise for anyone that is interested. And oh, yeah, I can do that. Yes. 
Absolutely. You, well, you need to be on the boat. I'm going to say that. Uh, it is January. <laughs> be on the <laughs> boat, y'all. <laughs> Listen, January 10th to the 13th, you need to make sure you're already near Orlando, Florida. We're leaving from Port Canaveral, Port Canaveral and, and Florida, and we are going to the Bahamas. But you need to book your cabin. Go ahead and reserve yes. your cabin by April 29th. That's just next Monday. So you, don't have a lot of time. you don't have a lot of you time. A week. So you're, you're only going to put $25 down with you mm-hmm. and one more person in your cabin. You can have up to four people in your cabin, but just make sure it's at least two of you so you can get that good price of three fifty one for for an ocean view cabin and three twenty one for an inner cabin. That's wow. it. Three fifty one for an ocean view cabin, three twenty one for an inner cabin. Go ahead and it's work it's based on double occupancy. So listen, go ahead and call my representative at 850-764-3495, 850-764-3495, or you can visit my website at the com slash book hyphen cruise. If you go to that page, book cruise, you can go ahead and click, call the agent right there and book your cabin or and um, use that phone number. And also, it's just $75 registration for the conference. So once you take care of your, your cabin, worry about that registration a little bit later, and we'll handle <laughs> getting your bags and all that curriculum and everything you need to take your dream from off that paper and make it make a reality. And those prices are truly a blessing, ladies and gentlemen. If you've never been on a cruise, I'm just saying. Yes, it's it is. I'm just saying y'all are blessed and highly favored. (laughs) Absolutely. And God is so good. He he, he did exactly what I prayed. He did Mm -hmm. exceedingly abundantly above all I prayed. Above all. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. And and, and the radio show, tell us um, where they can find the radio show. Oh, man. Um, Blue Flame Live. Uh, Mm -hmm. Just go over to Facebook or Instagram and check out the Blue Flame Live or Blue Flame Live. And uh, also on Facebook, the it's Blue Flame, it's the Blue Flame Moments radio show um, so that you can hear all the times because there's no way I can remember all the stations. Oh, I know. It's yeah. impossible. <laughs> but if you go ahead <laughs> and check us out on Instagram or Facebook, uh, you can get all the times. And also, you know, I'm going to tell you, I got a really, really, great way for you to be able to get it. If you download yes. the Blue Flame Moments app, we're on iTunes as well as Google Play Store, all that stuff. You know, just go to your favorite store and download the Blue Flame Moments app. It gives you a um, list of different stations you can catch us on, gives the airing times, all those things. And even they change, you know, more are constantly yes. added. I think last week we added three or four more. So, it's always growing, so you need to be able to stay connected through the app. Amen, amen. And I have a question for you, but before I ask you that question, can you leave our audience with about a, maybe one minute of an encouraging word? Oh, yes. God is able. I, I, Ephesians 3.20, God is mm-hmm. able. Mm-hmm. He is able abundantly above all you can ask or think, but guess what? It's according to the power that works in you. You have to understand the power that's in you. And remember, don't get caught up in the mesiology. You're great. You're amazing. You're wonderful. If it's without Christ, you're nothing. Without love, we're nothing. So you can be great all you want. But your grief mm-hmm. is going to come to an end at some point because there's going to be a place that you can't fulfill what you thought you could do. There's going to be a point where you can't accomplish what you thought you could accomplish. But mm-hmm. if you're depending on the source of your life and the salvation that has been assigned to your soul, then he's going to reach beyond your reach. He's going to go beyond what you can touch. And he's going to make the way straight. He's going to make the way prosperous for you. And everything you desire, everything you dream, he's going to do it. But he's going to do it through you to make sure he shines, not you. 
Amen. Amen. And I have one more question for you, Clarita. Absolutely. Can you feel the power? Oh, I feel the power. <laughs> amen. Amen. We are so blessed. And we thank our sister for joining us tonight, Clarita Haddon Jackson. Make sure you check her out. Make sure you get on that cruise. You will be blessed. Cruise and conversation. Thank you for joining us this evening right here on Positive Power 21. Can you feel power, ladies and gentlemen? Can you feel power? Shout out to Shay Samuels, who is on Grandpama duty tonight. We love you, Shay, and we look forward to being back next week. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. I am Paula G. of my journey with Paula G. Embrace the journey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Late Night with Jervis Love Worldwide and Paula G and Shea Samuel. We had Clarita Haddon Jackson on the show. Powerful show. If you missed the show, you want to catch the show entirely, you can go to SpreakerRadio.com right after the broadcast and you can share it, share it, share it. We want to thank all our international uh, friends that tune in. Wow, people was tuning in from Africa. That's right. Shout out to you guys, South Africa, Nigeria, and all the other places I can't, I can't say. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, brothers, my brothers overseas, all of our soldiers, our servicemen, men and women who, who are guarding our country. Thank you so much for tuning in to Spreaker Radio International. Don't forget, y'all, you can go out to the Purple app, the podcast app and on iTunes or whatever, and you can find all of the podcasts, over 5,000 shows. That's right, one of the largest internet radio stations in the world, 5,000 shows. Check it out, y'all. We got over 30 podcasters. 15 live shows and about 30 on demand. So check them all out, y'all. Going on out to Spreaker Radio, iTunes, iHeart, or Spotify. Thank you, Lord. We are so grateful. Thank you, Paula G. You did a wonderful job. Thank you, Colton McConnell and Clarita Haddon Jackson for spending some time with us on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. Take care, everybody, and have an awesome, awesome evening. Hit it, robot. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live. Worldwide podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hello, I'm Nina Taylor, and here is your gospel news. Anthony Evans, the son of Dr. Tony Evans. Anthony started his career in Christian music in 2001 as a background singer for Kirk Franklin. After a few years with Kirk Franklin, Anthony Evans established his solo career, beginning in 2004 with the album Even More. It peaked at number 17. Additional albums followed. Evans broadened his reach in early 2012 when he competed on the show The Voice. His performances of Marvin Gaye's What's Going On introduced him to a new audience and opened the doors to secular music. He also continued